Welcome to another Fix It Yourself video. Thank you for joining me. Today we're going to be setting up a uh, IKEA Malm dresser. Article number 30360468. It's a six drawer dresser and it's white and it's uh, very similar to the desk that we just did in another video. And uh, it comes in three boxes. So this is the large box here is box number one. And I guess these uh, box number two and three are most likely the drawers, I'm thinking. And then behind you can see there, that's the glass top. Okay, so let's uh, unbox these things and let's see if we put it all together. So we have uh, opened up the box number one and uh, moved all the stuff over and we've got the manual here. We're going to open it up and so the first thing you see, the tools you need, you need a flathead, a Phillips, they say you need a point uh, and then also a pencil, a hammer and a drill. The drill is basically uh, I think just for uh, <clears throat> securing this to the wall, which I'm not going to do. I don't think you need to uh, secure this small dresser to the wall, but they're saying it could be dangerous for kids. If you have kids, maybe it's a good idea, but if you don't, uh, I don't think anyone's going to tip this over. So I'm not going to be doing that. Uh, anyhow, so let's go through this. Here again, they show it would be good to have a helper. Probably not a good idea to do yourself. I'll see if I can find a helper at the parts when I need to do it. They do say uh, you can call IKEA for assistance, but I'm going to try to do this on my own. So here's all the uh, parts that you are going to come with it. And we'll go through that and check everything off like we did before for the desk. I'm not going to do that in this video. It's going to be a bit lengthy. I'm pretty confident that everything is here. So here's the first thing that they tell you to do, which is uh, take what looks like the big uh, piece and put the three rails on there. So that's the rails that I got here. Three sets of rails. And that comes in this box with all this other stuff here. So we'll go through all that and take a look at what's all here. Take a look at what's all here and we'll put everything across and then check it out and check everything off. Checked all, we have all the parts. Now what we're going to do is go through this step by step here. So the first step, they tell us to get that thick piece um, and that's the piece that goes on the center of the uh, unit. So that's, they tell you to put that down first and they've oriented it in the same way. You see it's got the two large holes, two large holes here in the, on the left side, and the two little holes on the right and then they want us to put the rails on there. It's got the two holes at the bottom here so that's the you can see that all there in the same orientation so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to install those three rails one more thing that uh, I wanted to point out what they're showing here is they don't say which rail it is but they do show the orientation of the rail so the wheel is on top and like on there see the wheels on top and based on the way it looks like in the diagram, it would appear to be like this. So that to me, it says that's the, the, the right. You see where it's showing the little R there, just to the left, underneath the wheel, it says R. It's upside down, but in there, you see, it's an R. So when you put that like that, that's the way it's going to go. One, two, three, like that. So I'm going to install those three rails. And you have to use uh, this screw here, which is uh, 100365. So I'll find those screws. And, and I'll install all three of those rails. So we've installed the three sliders on that one side. So we've done step number one. Now we're on to step number two. Step number two says install four of these uh, pins. We screw them in. Those are pins 118331 um, and we'll put them in place. Then we'll do step number three which is to install those little angle brackets. 
uh, two of them, one on each side, just as shown here. And then once we've done that, we put these little side pieces. So I'll get on and do those right now, okay? completed that step now we're on to step number five so what they're telling you now to do is to take that piece we just uh, assembled and put that piece onto that top corner there and basically what they're saying is they want those uh, plastic feet so that they're facing down not up okay so what that means is they want you to take this bracket and put it so that this foot is down that way so that would be this side here, like that. Okay, so that, that foot is on, on, the, on the ground and not this way with the foot facing that way, okay? So that's pretty simple and we'll just put that on now. We'll get that, get a couple of screws and we'll put that on now. Next step, so we've done that, just basically like that. Next step, they want us to take those four pieces and put the dowels in them, not the fat ones, but the skinny ones, and put them in one on each, and one on each at the bottom where the pins are next to each pin, and mount those in, okay? So then you end up with something like that, and then they want us to put four of those plastic uh, thingies here, not the not the, the big metal ones, but these plastic ones. So they want us to use these four plastic ones here, okay? So let's put them in. Okay, so now we've completed that step. We put that all in and you see that's what, the same configuration what we have. Just thing you want to be careful is that this piece here, you want the hole for putting in that that's on the back side there. So you see, you don't see it in this uh, camera image. And all of these, they all get screwed in from here, those three uh, turn screws, fasteners, and you use a flathead for that, okay? So that's all done. The next step, would be step number eight and what they tell us to do here is to take the other piece that's the piece that's going to go on top of that and we gotta and I think that already has the uh, no, that's the piece that's over here on the left already has all the rails on it and they just want us to put four of these pins okay screw them in so we'll get that set up and then we'll put it on top just the way they show okay let's do that now Okay, so I'm having a bit of problem here, but um, it's uh, it's just the way these things are lining up here because they're they do have to move a little bit to look like they were misaligned. So you gotta sort of get these pins lined up here. All of these three pins gotta go inside there and the dowels. So I would just kind of lay this in like this. Try to get all your pins to line up. There, one, two, three. There. You gotta get them all in. This is where an extra hand would help. So I'm putting that in there like that. That looks like it's good. Now we'll get this piece to go on. This is, you gotta be careful here that you get this lined up right. And then once it's in, that's it. Just a little tap. And There. There we go. So we gotta put two screws on there, and then we gotta get four of these, four of these plastic. So 
four of these plastics got to go on, and then two of these screws got to go on the bracket. So I'll put the bracket on first to secure it. That's this one here. Mm -hmm. So that's one. Once this is on, it should start holding it better. And that's the second one. Now we'll put these four brackets, turn fasteners. Second one. Third one. And the last one. There we go. So now we've completed all of those steps. So now that we've done all that, the next step is they want you to put in, uh, oh, we already did all those, so we're down to here. So we did all that. Then they want us to rotate this around and install the three, one, two, three rails on the other side of that thick unit. Okay, so we'll do that, flip it around and put those rails on next. Okay, so now we've completed doing that. Next step is putting on these pins, one, two, three, four, and then putting those same four pins on the other piece. Okay, let's do that now. So now we've uh, done step number 12, we've assembled the rails, we put the pins on the sides, put the pins on the side panel, we prepared the one small strip there and we put the brackets on it and then we put the, lay, uh, the feet on the bottom and we installed it. So we're up to step some, number 17. Now we're going to go on to the next step, number 18. Put the dowels on the thinner pieces and that uh, um, unfinished piece and put those four pieces on with the wood dowels. Okay, let's do that next. Okay, so we finished now doing step number 19, where we've put all of these turn fasteners in. We just did that. And the next step is, they say you need a helper, but I'm going to try to do this on my own, see if it's possible. But basically, we got to turn that unit up and then slide all those pieces in together there and fasten them, okay? With, again, those turn fasteners. We're showing here using the turn fasteners, one, two, three and then put the bracket in there with the two screws. So we'll do that now. We've completed that and the next step now is to take the top piece, which is the big long one that goes across the top, and we're gonna put one, two, three, four, five, six of those pin fasteners on. Screw them in. And I'm going to uh, ignore putting these because that's those are for you know securing this to the wall. I have no intention of screwing this to the wall. I want to move my unit around as I like. Um, so and that's the next step. And then put the uh, dowels in. We'll put two of the large dowels in the center piece and then four of the smaller dowels on the outer pieces and that will allow us to put the top on. So let's see if we can't get all that in now.
Okay, so now we've done all that. 27 and 28 steps have been done. We put in all the turn fasteners and the top is on. Now they tell us flip over the unit and install. I've already installed this one. Uh, I guess they said it was easier to install it here. And this is the step they're showing. So I've already done that. And all they want us to do now is put one, two of the plastic feet on the bottom of the unit, which I can do next. And then once it's flipped over, install the backboard and put a bunch of nails. They tell you to start with one nail in the bottom corner there and one in the top corner and then move on and do the other corner and then the other two corners and once that's done they tell you to put a whole bunch of nails in there and that's it and then you've got your uh, whole unit assembled and all you got to do next is put in the drawers okay so let's do that We put all the uh, nails on the backing and pretty much used them all and I spaced them out uh, about that far apart here everywhere and used them all up and even along the bottom here. So now we're ready to just lift the unit up and uh, put it aside and then the next thing would be, the next step would be to do the, the drawers. So I'm just going to lift this guy up here, put it off to the side and then we'll work on the drawers. Start working on the drawers. Now we're going to uh, <clears throat> assemble the drawers. I'll do one and then all the other ones are going to be the same. So let's have a look at what's inside this box. This is box number two. So I'm assuming that box number two has three. Three of the, um, of the six drawers. And, and then I'm assuming the other box has the, the rest. It's going to be really tough. Just cut this open. Just be careful when you're cutting it open that you don't cut the uh, material here. See, you don't want to be cutting this. So, okay, so, all right, so we got our instructions here. Let's have a look at the instructions. So, basically, you are going to need a flathead. Um, a Phillips. Ah, they say you need a helper, but I managed to, to do that with uh, just myself. You probably will be able to go through all the parts. Uh, make sure you've got 12 of these uh, pin fasteners, 12 of these uh, plastic, look like they're plastic, 12 dowels, 6 screws, 18 of these screws. Those are probably for the rails on the uh, drawers. And then 12 of the turn fasteners and then six of those so we'll open up the box and see that we got all these okay and again they tell you you got six rails of course um, and then the first thing we'll do is we'll put those pin fasteners onto the uh, the drawer face okay so let's get to that Okay, so taking out all my hardware, we just assemble all the, put all the hardware on one side here. Let's make sure we got everything. Okay, so we're going to put those pins in the in the drawer and just put them in that orientation. They're showing this hole, this hole, this hole, and this hole. Okay, so we're going to put those in, like that, so one goes in here, one goes in here, one goes here. one goes here, okay, so we've put them four pins in, 
Next step is take your sides. You're showing that the side that has the uh, markings on here, that would be one of these sides here. Which one is it? Uh, would be this one. So that's this side. We'll start with that. So these are all the same. You can see they got like a rounded edge here and a flat edge on the bottom. And they have it on this. So this will be the, the, the looks like the left side. And these will all be the right side. So I put them all together for the three drawers. Three and three. So we'll start with the one they show you. you put that on here. And you put the back side, the back of the drawer. So that's the front of the drawer. That's the back of the drawer. So put that on there. Put the other side on here. Oh, before we do that, you should put the, the dowels. So don't forget that. They show that you actually have to put the dowels. So let's put the dowels in place. You can put them either in here or in here, whichever works better. I find that maybe put them both on the same side. Probably the best thing to do. Okay, so now line up the pins, line up the dowels. There you go. Put them in. Okay. Line up the pins. And the rounded edge should be on the top of the drawer, okay? The back of the drawer, the bottom of the drawer, of course, has the line at the bottom. And this is the rounded edge, okay? Uh, so we've done that. We put the four dowels and we've done those two drawers, okay? So now they're telling us to do the same thing for the other drawers. Then they want us to put in those uh, plasticky things. That would be these little turn fasteners. Put them in. Put one in here, turn that in. That's it. So now on this side. Once we've got those four on, then they tell us to slide the back of the unit in. That would be like this piece, I think. So, so there's a, like a nice finished side and a rough side. The rough side will go on the bottom, so we're going to slide this in here, like so. Make sure you line it up so that it's kind of even on both sides. Okay. And then they tell you to put the backing uh, plate on, okay? So that would go here, and here, and of course that that line there is intended to go along this. So you gotta kind of line that up on there, so it slides in there, and, and then slide it into this. There you go. There you go. And then the idea is these pins, these pins go in, and you just tap those in. You can tap them in either with a hammer. Two more on this side. That's it. And then, once you've got the pins in, they tell you to put in the small little pins here on the side. Oh, those are those are like little bumpers. So I got one here. So just a tiny little bumper. You just put that on on each side. Just a little plastic bumper. Okay, so you've got that done. Next is the rails. So they want you to flip the, uh, the <clears throat> drawer upside down. Maybe put it on top of something they show you, on top of a table. Um, maybe what we'll do is uh, put it on top of a box or something. Or I don't know, we'll figure out this. And then you put the rails on top of there and then just uh, looks like you just put the screws onto the sideboards here, okay? So let's get to that and figure out this box 
here. This is the box number three, which I'm going to use. Here's the box number three. Put that on top of here. There we go. So then we'll put one rail along here and one rail along there. And I'll line this up. Okay. So we take the rails out of here and so these are coming, coming in pairs, I believe. So each pair goes one on each side. So we'll take a knife, cut the tape off. And let's so show you. So the wheel must go, um, I guess, where's that? It shows the wheel towards the back. So this is the front, the wheel's in the back, so it must go like this. One there. One there, yep. And the screws go one, two, three. So let me get my little screws here. One, two, three. I've got my three screws. And let's put them in. For the other side, a few more screws. One, two, three. Okay, one more. So now that the rails are on, that holds this bottom piece in. It's held in here, held in the sides, and held in this back side. Okay, and then the only other thing they tell you to do is to put a uh, secure this little backing plate, which would be one of these. This, I guess, is to, just to give it some support along the back. And all you do is you put one screw in the front here and one in the back. Okay? So we'll just take this tape, cut the tape off, take one of these. Looks like you just put it like so. Okay, let's try that. Let's put this screw in first. Put the screw in part way. It says put the screw in part way and then you slip this over somehow. Yeah, there you go. See? Kind of slip alongside and then turn it. So I would say you got to put the screw in almost all the way in. Just leave it enough that you can slip this on. So you can slip that on, turn it, and then flip this guy over like that. And that's it. And then you got to just put in a screw right here one of these other screws okay so that's basically all you do you just pop that in there and uh you just put the screw on here i don't see a pre-drilled hole here anywhere but i guess you just have to make your own i guess that's what the punch is for so they did say something about a punch so i don't know i guess we're just gonna have to punch this hole here That's it. Don't have to do it too tight. Let's just give it some strength. Okay, so there you go. We've done one drawer, and then we're going to do the other five just like that. Let's try popping that in and see how that works. So, in this clean. We've done one drawer. Five more to go. Okay, so we've just completed the uh, last of the six drawers, so that's all of them. And we just only thing remaining now is to just open up the box for the glass top and to put the glass top on. Well, thank you for uh, joining me on this video. I hope it helps you. Please click the uh, like button if, it, if you like the video and subscribe to my channel. Thank you. Thank you for watching.